In order for your body to stay alive, each of its cells must receive a continuous supply of food and oxygen. At the same time, carbon dioxide and other materials produced by the cells must be picked up for removal from the body. The circulatory system is a network of vessels that enables the heart to pump blood through your body. Blood vessels are small tubes that are responsible for carrying blood to and from all parts of your body. The human circulatory system is composed of three types of blood vessels, arteries, veins, and capillaries. An artery is a large blood vessel that carries oxygen-rich blood from the heart to the cells and tissues of the body. The veins are vessels that carry oxygen-poor blood and waste products toward the heart. Your capillaries are microscopic in size. They link in the arteries and veins to the tissues of the body. The exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide takes place across the thin walls of the capillaries. Your arteries transport blood under high pressure and therefore have walls that are much more elastic than the veins. The blood flow in the artery pulsates. It constantly increases and decreases as a result of the heart pumping a new volume of blood into the arteries 70 times per minute. The effect is what causes the pulse you can feel by placing your fingertips over the arteries in your wrist and neck. Blood supplies oxygen and transports nutrients, waste, and hormonal messengers to each of the 60 billion cells in your body. Blood has four main components, red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, and liquid plasma. Red blood cells carry 99% of the oxygen the body needs. Plasma carries the other 1%. Red blood cells are the most abundant cells in the body, constituting about 45% of the blood. Their main function is to carry oxygen to the tissue and remove carbon dioxide waste. White blood cells are a part of your body's immune system. Their main function is to provide a defense against infectious agents. Platelets are tiny specialized cells that are activated whenever blood clotting or repair to a vessel is necessary. When a blood vessel is cut, platelets rush to the vessel and swell into odd irregular shapes, grow sticky and clog at the cut, creating a plug. If the cut is too large for the platelets, they send out signals to initiate clotting by releasing a hormone called serotonin, which stimulates blood vessels to contract, thus reducing the flow of blood. Blood plasma transforms into insoluble thread-like strands of protein that mesh around the blood cells, forming a solid clot, thus creating a scaffold in which the body can build new tissue. Throughout your body, thousands of miles of blood vessels run to every living organ and tissue. The functioning of your body is dependent on a constant supply of blood and its components.